Good afternoon and welcome to today's live Facebook live. Thank you so much for joining me today. My name is Jenny McCormack and I'm an independent stamping up demonstrator and I'm based in the market town of Brackley which is in the UK. Thank you so much for joining me. Just moving my microphone a bit closer to make sure it's loud enough for you. So today's card was inspired by um, something that caught my eye this morning uh, when I was doing some tidying up. Hi Christine, lovely to have you join us live. And um, Stumping Up Demonstrators used to be sent a magazine every quarter throughout the year. This one is quarter two, <laughs> quarter number two in 2019. And in there are lots of ideas, obviously the sales tips, um, but lots of ideas and suggestions for people to try different techniques. And in each magazine, um, there was lots of different ideas. And then on each um, segment, they tell you how these cards were made. And I was glancing through this as I happened to pick it up and I saw this design here and this is one of the technique pages and this design uses the rooted in nature stamp set now this is obviously from at least 2019 if not 2018 because it's still um, wood mounted and we no longer do wood mounted stamp sets but oh good Christy it's so pretty isn't it and I do use it a fair bit. I do love the sentiments. And one of my favourite stamps is this leaf here. Let me take it out of the box because the box is reflecting. You can see it's rather well used by the staining on the wood. Hello, Carol. Thanks for joining us. So this is the stamp itself and it's got real detail of this skeleton leaf. And I appreciate you probably can't see particularly well in there because of the um, camera and the light of the paper. Hello, lovely Linny, and hi Louise. So this has got the leaf stamp. It also has um, the other little one here, which is also rather nice, this one here. So I may use a combination of those as they have done. And what they've done is they've used an emboss resist technique. So basically what happens is we stamp these onto our card with Versamark ink, that's our clear ink. And then you apply either clear embossing powder or white embossing powder. They've used white here and then you can go over that area with an ink and they've used soft sea foam, which I think is really nice. So I'm going to try that as well. And what happens is the area that has been um, covered over um, with the embossing powder resists the ink that you're putting on top. And so it stays off of there. You can obviously wipe it down a little bit um, and it leaves this white um, impression on the background. So I'm not necessarily going to do um, all of this layering that they've got here. So I'm going to do a slight variation on this. And so I've got a crumb cake card. So they've used crumb cake for the base. And you'll no surprise to see I've got some espresso for my layer. And then I'm adding to that Oh, a vanilla layer that I haven't cut down correctly. I took it out of the my tray. Obviously, it needs to be slightly narrower than that. It needs to be nine and a half. Sorry about that. It's been a glorious day here today. I've had the windows open. I've heard the birds singing. The children out on their bikes. It's been really lovely. 
<laughs> of course, Christine, of course. So here we go. So I've got vanilla onto my espresso, onto my crumb cake. So I've got that layer going on. And what I'm going to do is the emboss resist te technique onto this vanilla card. And I'm going to use the skeleton leaves. And I'm going to use these ones too. And these also have some um, shading on them. Uh, what, I like, what I'd like to show you is I'm also going to stamp a panel with these just in early espresso, I think. Just so you can see the difference between uh, the two. So I'm just going to grab another piece of very vanilla and my embossing buddy tool here. So this is the one that I've cut to size and I'm going to use this embossing buddy over the base of very vanilla. Unfortunately we don't sell these anymore. You can make them yourselves with um, corn flour or talcum powder or something in a, a slightly open weave piece of fabric. Um, but you can also pick them up relatively inexpensively and they last for ages. Okay, so I'll just put that away. So I'm going to do the emboss resist first and then I won't have to clean my stamps off quite so much. So it's ages since I've used this stamp set and look at the state of my Versa mark. Never mind. As long as it's shiny on the stamp, you know that it's picked up enough ink. I'm just going to stamp that off. Good. Make sure there's no ink on there. So I'm just going to add these on here and then emboss in white. Now I know you can't see those, so you're You'll just have to bear with me and know that I have stamped them there. Like so. I can see them by angling the um, paper. So while I'm doing this, I hope everybody is well that's joining me. We have our Let's Get Creative weekend this weekend, so it'll be a full on, well, it'll be full on day tomorrow. Um, but looking forward to it. Everything is loaded ready, so all being well. We don't have any technical issues. Okay, just turning this round. I do love these skeleton leaves, I have to say. And let's just pop these in. You'll be, be able to see these when I've added the embossing powder, I promise. So pop that lid on there and grab my white embossing powder, lifting this up carefully and then just going to sprinkle the powder on it and I'm hoping, can you see that powder on there? It's very clear for me, but I appreciate in the light and through the camera lens, you get a different look. So I'm going to do an emboss resist one and I'm going to do one just plain stamped. And then you can let me know which one you prefer. Just flicking off the excess. I think that will be fine. If I've missed any bits of um, the card in my stamping, once I've done this, I can go back and add a little bit extra in if I want to. So that is my layer there. I can see I've got a corner missing. Now, I don't know if you can see that. Let me know if you can see that. Um, detail now I hold it up to the light oh no maybe there you can so I've just got a little corner here I want to add 
this little stamp into so that it's not quite as empty there there and then turn this round it's going to use the other one now let's put the tip of that leaf in okay now I know you probably can't see the, the gap in there because of the light so I apologize for that let's pick this up carefully add the powder into the areas that I've added the stamps hopefully I've got all of those that's better okay now you could um, it is like magic isn't it Lynn hope you're feeling okay today Lynn Okay, so I have my heat gun, just going to get that started to warm it up. This is the stamping up heat gun. There we go, it's warming up. So I'm just waiting for that to change, should go shiny and white. Make sure you're not doing this on your best French polished furniture. Because the heat tool is very hot. Sorry to hear that, Lynn. This COVID is a nasty old business. Especially when you get infections on top of COVID. But I'm glad you're well enough to join us. Okay. Um, one thing to note with our heat gun that you can order on the website is that we have two heat guns listed because we're uh, well we're a worldwide company but also a European company you can order the heat tool with an English plug or with an EU plug so when you aren't ordering if you are ordering that particular one just make sure if you're in the UK you choose an EU plug okay so there is my heat embossed and you can just see it shining on there now as a comparison i want to just stamp this in um i'll stamp it in espresso might be a little too dark but you'll get the the gist of it just so you can see the effect but also so that you can see how fab these stamps are so the nice thing about using Versamark is you don't necessarily need to clean it off um, between that and your stamping. Let's just move this out of the way because I don't really want to coat the whole thing. Okay. So you see how lovely these skeleton leaves are. Now there are some other leaves in the stamp set and obviously you can use any stamp set you know whether it's florals or leaves or um, you know any patterns you want really for this technique could be absolutely anything make sure you're rotating your paper around so that your your things move in different directions and make sure you're coming off the edge as well to make it look really natural and the best way to get good spacing is start with the large pieces 
and then get down to the smaller stamps. Yes, tone on tone is always nice, isn't it? I agree with you, Christine. There we go. Just the literally the very edge of those. Okay, so there's one. But what I wanted to show you was the emboss resist technique. So this technique has been around as long as embossing, <laughs> embossing um, powders have been. So what we're going to do now is coat this with some ink. I'm going to use soft sea foam because that's what they used. Okay, it's not a colour I use very often. I do use it for light foliage. Um, and you could either use a sponge, you could use our sponge brayers, or you could use our blending brushes. So I'm going to use our blending brush. This is my generic green. Okay, so just make sure. It feels like I've got embossing powder everywhere. Hopefully I haven't. So just tapping this off a little bit. And then I'm going to bring this in from the side. Now you can take this colour as dark as you want to go. And what will happen is that the um, embossed area resists the application of ink and will show through. I don't know if you can see that on there already. So I'm going to go a bit heavier with the ink. And you can do this in smaller areas. So you could literally just go around the outside or you could use an area in the middle. And the darker the ink that you apply, the more detail of that you will see. So they've used quite a light green. Hello, Carol G. Thanks for joining us. So we're doing good old emboss resist technique. I'm sure you'll have done this one. So I stamped in Versamark and heat embossed in white on vanilla card. So that's beginning to show through. I'm tempted to use some brown in the centre just so that I've got a centre panel. So let's use a bit of soft suede. just to see how that goes. So this is my generic brown um, ink. So I'm just going to bring this in and it will um, stain the ink to start with and then we're going to brush that off a little bit. So I've got soft suede in this middle section and then I'm going to add more of the green on either side. Let's see what sort of effect we get. You can see that. I'm going to brush this up in a minute and that will come back to white. Just add a little bit more green now I know where, where we are. I could take this to um, Pear Pizzazz actually, but I'm going to stick with this. So you do want to make sure your hands are fairly clean for doing this. Otherwise you'll have sticky 
fingerprints. Oops. So as I say, you can use sponge dauber, you can use our sponges, you can use our sponge brayer or our brand new blending brushes which I absolutely love so much so that in my February class in a box everybody has got a blending brush included in their pack so that if they haven't had a go with them they get to try them out and hopefully like them okay. so that's coming up really nicely now what I could do with is one of my um, one of my linen cloths for wiping this down but I can't see one so I'm just going to get a piece of kitchen towel I do apologize sorry about that Normally I have some linen cloths around. So now when I buff this up over the white, can you see the white ink reappearing in there? Like so. That's not making you feel dizzy or anything, then. <laughs> okay, so can you see that effect? So we've got the white showing through. So I am going to add a bit more colour. So you can keep on adding colour. The colour's going to sit on the vanilla card. Could have easily started with white card. But you're not actually going to see any of it. But let's just do this here and then I'll add a little bit more brown. So it just gives a very soft look. It would be nice for um, sympathy cards because it is so such a soft look going to bring this green over a little bit and then with the brown so you could easily use a darker color ink straight from the get-go if you wanted to I'm going to use a bit more soft suede hello Karen I hope you've had a good week Karen not been too too busy hope you're going to manage some crafting this weekend there we go so soft suede is the brown ink and then soft sea foam is the green hope to make that even darker okay let's wipe this off the images there we go so I'm really pleased with that so you can see the difference between the two Oh, you've been crafting. Oh, new chicken coop to paint. How many chickens have you got, Karen? Or is this in preparation for chickens? So you can decide which you like the better. So this one is just stamped in early espresso. So you do see more detail, but this is a lot more subtle. 
okay the darker your ink in terms of going over the layers the more that this will pop okay in terms of the color okay let's buff that up a little bit there all right so my plan is to put that onto there and you can see by putting it onto the darker card how how that makes that pop as opposed to there just it's just one of those things so always um, I recommend your next layer to your card is always darker so Council has just got four but getting more once she's finished building a new run how very exciting and then obviously this would be another version so equally as pretty but not as subtle it's definitely a bit more in your in your face as it were okay so in the sample that I found in the magazine they had some bits and pieces here so I'm going to um, maybe stamp the leaves and cut those out they've done a little bit of boss embossing on the edges of the leaves um, but I'm just going to stamp those out and cut them out so let's grab a larger piece of vanilla and obviously you could use this with any combination of things so let's just grab that and espresso Yes, they're, they're, you just get a completely different effect, don't you? Oh, thinking about it. I have actually got the die that cuts those out, I think. The Rooted in Nature dies. Nature's Roots, it's called. Let's have a look. Oh no, that's Nature's Thoughts. lost the plot definitely okay so we're going to fussy cut this which is amazing for me that's uh, quite a bit of fussy cutting this week there's a little bit of fussy cutting in our creative weekend as well hey ho so just in, just cutting just cutting around the leaves And you can do any amount of layering so if you have some um, little gold pieces this would look nice a um, little bit of gold which i think is why they've done the chipped the leaves in gold so let's just cut down here So Christine, are you doing any crafting at the weekend? I know Carol is because she's joining us for our Let's Get Creative event. That's all day on Saturday. I should have had a couple of these cut out, shouldn't I? I would have been better but never mind there we go yes you do get the details showing you're quite right Christine it does it does create a really nice effect so I can have two of those And what would be really nice would be some leaves cut into gold, but I 
something else I like about this set is this sentiment be strong be happy be you I think that's really nice and you are wonderful and thinking of you of course really nice collection of sentiments and there's two boxes of stamps it's a big stamp set of 16 altogether I think I'm going to add a little bit of baker's twine they have some baker's twine in their sample let's cut this here no it doesn't oh yes the leaf punch um, which is very similar to this uh, did retire and you're right Lynn there there aren't any dies for this oh she says so I'm looking at the other ones now no I don't think there is shame it's a bit like um, Lovely as a Tree, isn't it, with these images, tree images on them. There we go. Right. Sorry, that's a little bit um, boring for you to watch me cutting that up. Apologise for that. So I've got a couple of layers of those, and I'm going to start stamp "Be Strong, Be Happy, Be You." And you could either cut those out as one, or often what I've done is cut out the individual pieces. Oh yes, I shall be here on Sunday, crafting between 3 and 5, and the link for anybody to join us is in our Gemini Crafts Facebook page, which is where you are now if you're on there. <laughs> A leaf lunch. Just want to stamp that again it's got a tiny bit of something over the letter p that's better okay so let's do these two layers first those down can't believe we've got to Friday already it's been a busy week for me um, getting everything ready making sure it's ready for let's get creative making sure all the boxes are out and um, getting all the preparations done for my next class in a box so um, that's probably why Friday has come round rather quickly. So this will actually work in portrait or landscape. Okay, so you could have this down at the bottom, for example, like so, with the sentiment. I'm going to have it portrait, I think. And that works perfectly like that. But I'm going to... I think I'm going to wrap some string, some linen thread around that. Let's see what I've got. So I have some green. And I have, of course, the one you want. It's always at the bottom. Oh, it's a bit of loose. Oh no, it's attached. Let's have a look and see. So what do you think? Green twine or traditional baker's twine quite liking the green actually sounds very busy well busy enough I think I'm gonna go for the green so 
So I'm just going to wrap this once. Oh, bless you, Lynn. Well, I, you know, I love my customers and my team. Let's do that. Plenty of baker's twine to play with it, but it seems to last forever, baker's twine. Until you need some, of course. So I'm going to wrap this round. What I want to do is leave a bit for my tail there. So one, two, three, like that. And I'm just going to put a knot in there. I know my ends aren't very even, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. There we go. So you can either have these close together or you can spread them out. You can have them at, you know, jaunty angle, if you like. Like so. And you can, of course, make this go slightly curly by just running it across your scissors. I haven't really got much <laughs> length to play with there. Oh, thank you. Christine, that's very sweet of you to say. Absolutely. We, it's so nice to have good company, isn't it? With people chatting and joining in. There we go. So it's got a little bit of a kinking it going on there okay so I've got these bits that I can tuck in either side like so and it needs something else to go with it what am I going to add to it let me see what I've got in the shape of die cuts to put behind So they added a tailored tag shape. Um, let's see what I've got. See, I was rather thinking a little bit of gold. So I know this is, <laughs> that is way, way too big. Let's see what else I've got. So I've got, that would potentially work with a sentiment on with these behind it or maybe one under and one over that would be one option or I've got soft suede let's see these are all quite large this one is the next size up so this is pear pizzazz now I'm going to have too many options to play with That's the gold, but my feeling is that is too big. So let's see what we have in here. Oh, it is good to be busy. There's no doubt about that. No doubt about that at all. So I could do these two layers here, potentially. with my sentiment on and then have this like so what do you think let's cut this out and have a look or if those are too big I could do that combination Um, could punch this out let's just have a look I've got a small circular punch that might do it the 
it's not me. What do we think? This could sit on top potentially. Just try it. I just feel that that is slightly too chunky. That's all. Does that work with that one? No, not really. What do we think? Oh, I could go all circles. So that was the choice. Was that one and that one? Soft suede and crumb cake layer. I wonder if that's what you mean. That combination. And I could turn it round, but it seems to fit like that one quite nicely, really. So I think I might stick with that in that combination there. But just move these around, crumb cake layer. Something like that. So what I'm going to do is put that one up on dimensionals. If I can see them. Difficult to tell which are the fronts and the backs of these. Take it on top. Gold and pear pizzazz. Yes, that would work quite nicely. You haven't got a smaller one of those. Ooh. Let me just see in case I have. I do. that better I'm liking that yes it makes it a bit brighter doesn't it a bit more interesting so I might use this one on my other card so let's pop that one on there thank you ladies I always struggle when it comes to Friday and I think because this week I've been designing extra things so my um, the make and take effectively for Saturday plus all of my um, 
class in a box sessions I think I'm over I've overcrafted <laughs> so that one and that one at different heights and that one on top perfect perfect now what I might do is use my blending brush on the edge of this just to bring in some colour hopefully to make it a little bit green so thank you for that colour combination Christine gold and pear pizzazz add a little bit more brown this is going to be on the green layer so just angle your blending brush to bring it in or horizontally though we'll have a look and see Just thinking it's sort of running out of space a little bit there yeah no I'm gonna stick with it and it's unusual for me to do it vertically but I'm going to stick with it like that it's just it feels like it balances that nicely but thank you for your thought and I'm gonna keep that at the bottom so I'm just going to add a little bit of wet glue to this one slide it in under there like so there we go so let's put one up there and again you could use if you wanted to use your blending brush just to soften the edge of that it does it brings that those colours definitely in together so just using the blending brush and it just takes the harshness of the vanilla away can't remember what I had now one there one under and one over So, so I'm going to put that between the layers and I'm just going to add a little bit of ink of glue to the top as well as the bottom so that it's just sandwiched in between like so pushing it down with the bone folder so that I'm not getting my fingers too dirty and then pop that down on top thank you Carol and Christine for your input yes <laughs> I know what you mean I was tempted to cut it down actually but 
There we go. I'm leaving them intact this time. And strong be happy be you. Looks like a moustache this does. There we go. And that's all going to go on to our crumb cake card base. I have to say that's one of my favourite leaves. That and the ones from Forever Fern. There we go. Gonna lay that onto there. So that just balances that out. There we go. That's what that one. And while I've got this one here, I might as well just make that into a card too. So um, let's trim this down. It it looks on your on my um screen it looks like this is bent but it's because it goes up in the air and down so hopefully it's not really bent in real life i don't think it is <laughs> just just pop this onto a card um, so i'm going to do the same layers actually i think really a surprise is it let's see if that will fit and I'll cut this one down and I want to use thinking of you because I think it's a lovely um, a lovely stamp lovely sentiment so this is going to be fairly straightforward just need to find my trimmer So I'm going to cut this down to nine and a half. Well, it doesn't really matter which side I cut off. Quite like this edge, that works really nicely. So 13.85 will be that one there. going to go on to that as a layer and I'm pretty sure I will have some vanilla circles cut somewhere or ovals oh I know I have them in a little bag um, let me just see I have far too many white ones this is hmm that's the right size but it does look very big doesn't it on there <laughs> yes, it does look a bit like a tash, doesn't it? <laughs> Let's see. Oh, that copper's nice, isn't it? But I've obviously very carefully put my vanilla pieces away. Uh, which is very annoying because I know they're not very far away. I just wanted to use bits that I had really. These are too small. There's a vanilla piece. 
it like a needle in a haystack. Oh, found a little donkey. <laughs> I might be brave. Stamp it and fussy cut it out of a piece of vanilla. That's a little bit narrow. That's a scrap to work on. Let's move that one out of the way. So, so the, the main card is finished and I'm just having done this layer just going to make this into a card just so that it doesn't um, doesn't go to waste Okay, so I've got thinking of you that I'm going to cut out. You'd almost get the impression that I enjoy fussy cutting, don't you? Yes, I do too. sort of does the work you need it to doesn't it Carol I think a lot of people need thinking about at the moment a lot of people in my thoughts we've lost two um, local people far far too early in the recent few weeks one girl was only 20 years of age and it's just devastating for the people that are left behind right just going to whiz this round here And it's only just dark, everybody. How nice is that? So, thinking of you. There you are. So, that makes that a bit smaller to play with. <laughs> I have had lots of experience cutting this week I don't know there must be something wrong with me that I'm doing so much fussy cutting you think Carol maybe okay so I've got a little border around there and then I've got thinking of you which I could could layer now that feels too big now that feels too big. That's too big. <laughs> Half of that size would work. There's a crumb cake that would work in a diamond form oh darling donkey that could do there he is except he's on white oh 
What do you think? Does that work? Christine's suggestion of our donkey with or without my thinking of you now. This finds the smallest leaves. Niece is rose colouring in. Let me know what you think. Are we going to add this darling donkey instead? Yes, that is a, it is a nice font. Um, no, actually, in both cases. Thank goodness. Sorry ladies, I'm fiddling now, aren't I? It's really not, it's not a very um, sensible use of your time. Watching me do this. No, none of those work. So, okay, so it's donkey or it's thinking of you. I think, I think I rather like the donkey at Christine's suggestion because it is there. Just going to colour in that little rose though. So you can't have him without a rose. So red rose. Oh, so to answer your question, Christine, no, it wasn't. It wasn't to COVID. There we go. Voila. On there. So let's put that together and then I'll add a sentiment. I've got just for you that might fit in a little circle. So let's just pop this together. Sorry to keep you longer than I intended. Two, three. So laying that onto there, like so. Pop this onto my card. Grab my bone folder. You don't mind well i guess not otherwise you wouldn't all be here <laughs> but i know i never mind if people have to go because i know if you want to see it you can watch it on catch up and equally you can just stop at any time i don't think this really matters which way up or oh, down it goes that's the nice thing about self-stamped backgrounds with something like that. Let's pop him on flat and then that layer with dimensionals. It's fine. Um, I'm happy with the white on there. I could go over it with a little bit of um, brown ink to take the edge off the white. Oh, that's okay. And also, it's I you know I know it's you know people are preparing dinners and things like that, aren't they? So I understand that. 
so just to soften this away from the white you can add just a little bit of crumb cake soft, soft suede any of those I'm just going to go around so I don't colour his teeth in poor chappy so for those that have been looking at the celebration um, items oh it's an amazing moon rising oh yes it's a full moon I think it's not it's a very close to a full moon thank you Karen it's stunning um, so for any um, customers watching obviously celebration ends on Sunday and darling donkeys you can get for free that's Sunday the 28th of February darling donkeys you can get for free if you spend £45 on an order or more and any quantity of 45 will get you an additional product there we are so if you have that problem where you've got white card and vanilla oh 27th is a full moon oh, okay so that's tomorrow thank you Carol you're all very knowledgeable aren't you I knew it was very close to a full moon um, when I went out last night with my dog so I always go out for a late night walk with my dog okay there we have it so that's blended in the white and it actually makes his teeth <laughs> teeth shine a little bit so I'm going to pop that on with um, just wonder I'm going to put some twine behind it no I don't think I am but yes if you can look out the window anybody there's a beautiful moon I suppose it depends on where you are as to whether you've got a lot of cloud in your sky here I can see it straight out my craft room window so thank you for the idea of the donkey Christine so a very different card go and let's grab a small sentiment shape so I have got really needs to be a flat one let me have a look in my little box of many messages I might have something perfect in there that's if I can find it of course And what do you know? Here it is. <laughs> so, just wanted to say that would work, wouldn't it? Just wanted to say thank you for being you. And again, these are on white, so I can colour these in. if there's anything be strong be brave you've got this that would work wishing you a year of magical moments oh dear too much choice thank you ever so much Well, that's quite cute well hooray it's your birthday I've got some black ones here this would be really nice white embossed on early espresso wouldn't it I have to do a set like that oh happy day okay So, thank you ever so much. All be strong, be brave. You've got this. Let's look 
Ой, май. That's a bit too big and heavy. Have a little bit of thin espresso. Or something completely different. I might leave the sentiment and decide what I'm going to put on. So I'm not convinced. That's the same one. Of that. Okay, so this is soft suede colour. But those two together look really nice. I'm really pleased with those two. So be strong, be brave. You've got this. Let's just do it. <laughs> and then it's done. Because it's quarter past six already. I know it's not the right brown, but I'm sure you'll forgive me. Two dimensionals on the back. And to me, this looks like it's sloping a little bit. Let me see if I can see my T-square. exactly oh not even half a millimeter so I'm not going to worry about that there we go finished card be strong be brave you've got this so there we are ladies thank you for joining me this afternoon um, a little bit longer than I planned I wonder how many hours recordings I've done this week. <laughs> anyway, I hope you've enjoyed these. This was really what I was after, to show you the emboss resist technique, where you stamp with Versamark, cover in white or clear embossing powder, depends on what you're going over, and then laying down ink on top of that. So that's that one and then this was just to show you the stamped background um, as an alternative and thanks to Christine I've used up my odd Dolly's don Darling Donkeys piece of card. So there we are, thank you ladies, I hope you have a nice evening, I hope you have a nice weekend. If you're joining me for Let's Get Creative I can't wait to see you tomorrow morning. Um, looking forward to a day's full a day's worth of crafting if anybody's interested in joining us for our next one just comment on here and i'll make sure you're added to the mailing list thank you so much everybody you take care look after yourselves look after your loved ones and i hope you can keep crafting thank you so much bye bye and good night <laughs>